Smart School Tutor contains all standards from KG to 12th. As you click on any standard, all its subjects will open up. As you click on any subject, all its chapters will open up in the left panel. As you click on any chapter, all its modules will open up in the right panel. Let's see one animated module. Hello champs. Today we are going to discuss about yet another interesting topic and that is understanding motion. Motion, motion everywhere. Not even a single object at rest. And so motion is the lifeline of this universe. Everything in this universe is made up of those restless tiny atoms. Inside the atom, you find electrons which are moving at very high speeds around the central nucleus. Now be the atoms, the molecules, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, all of them are in motion. And time is the real ruler of this universe. Time never stops, so the objects which came into being with time, they cannot stop either. True or not? Right, and that's why we say that motion is the order of this universe. Time is the ruler and motion is the order of this universe. Now the Big Bang, which occurred between 12 and 14 billion years ago, since then the universe is expanding. And what I mean by that is that it is in motion. Though you cannot perceive the whole universe at one go, but whatever you see is a part of the universe. True or not? Whatever you're seeing is a part of the universe? Right. Now, I have a question for you all. How do you normally perceive an object to be in motion? When do you say that the object is in motion? Okay, so an object is said to be in motion when its position, it changes with, with what? With time, right. So when we say that the object was there, but now it is not there, say the car is initially at position A, but now it is not at the same position, it has moved. So what would you say? That the car has, the car has moved from there. And in this case, the car moved from position A to position B. And so the position of the car changed with time, and thus we call the car to be in motion. Now, what do you call an object if its position does not change with time? Come on, I want an answer from you now. What do you call an object whose position does not change with time? Yes, you would say that the object is at rest. Now, let us have a look at another animated module. The Structure of Human Eye Part 1 Eyeball The eyeball is almost spherical in shape, having a diameter of about 2.3 cm. Cornea The front transparent part of the eye, which is bulged outwards, is called cornea. Iris Behind the cornea is a muscular diaphragm with a circular opening in its center called iris. You can on the fly switch the language of the audio of any module while watching it. Thereby a module which was playing in English can now play in Hindi as well. Pupil Iris ki circular opening ko pupil kehte hain. Eye lens Pupil ke piche ek double convex lens hain Jise eye lens kehte hain Ye transparent jelly like proteinaceous material se bana hai Now let us see ask a doubt feature Here students can clear all their doubts by just typing their questions in the search bar
Smart School Tutor also provides Scholar Zone. Here, students can practice from previous year's papers of various competitive examinations, like Maths Olympiad, Science Olympiad, etc. Dates are very important in history, so we have created a unique history timeline section. All the events explained in a chapter are arranged in the order of their occurrence. Thereby, students can easily memorize and retain these dates. Generally, up to 6th grade, most private schools prescribe private publisher books instead of NCRT books. For this, we have Choose a Book feature. In this, you can choose and study from the exact book as per the books prescribed by your school. Now, Let's see our question bank software that is Exam Guru, which contains more than 1 lakh questions to practice from. Using this software, a child can practice by selecting one or more chapters. Here, after submitting the test, you can see the result question-wise and chapter-wise.